time. Time is the most valuable resource. In software development, speed is often the key to success. So take a sit and we'll share Jelvix's experience about the best ways to speed up your development team. We are Jelvix, software development partner for industry leaders. You're on our channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. So let's start with the theory. What affects the speed of development in general? Traditionally, criteria can be categorized as positive, which aids the team, negative, which demotivates developers, causing missed deadlines, and so on, and a middle ground, like technical debt. We'll explain it all in this video. Now let's dive into the details. The first aspect is skills and experience. Developers with more expertise in the required technologies and tools may be able to work more efficiently and may be able to identify and address issues more quickly. Unfortunately, it's impossible to hire a team that can do everything at once. So your team needs to be trained. How? Make sure you provide your team with learning opportunities. Motivate them to attend conferences and training events. At Jelvix, we have internal events when our team members share their knowledge and experience with others. Google has a 20% rule, under which each employee has the right to devote one day a week to training. The second issue influencing development speed is the scope of the product. A larger project with more complex requirements will generally take longer to complete than a smaller project with simpler requirements. It's harder to add new features, to spot and fix bugs. It's harder and longer for new team members to understand the project. Make sure product vision is clear, you have the development roadmap, and make sure you hire good engineers able to avoid unnecessary complexity in system development. Something else that affects development speed is changes in project requirements. Any changes in business needs, Changing stakeholder feedback can also impact the speed of development. Frequent changes can lead to delays and rework and can make it difficult to maintain project momentum. Make sure everyone's expectations are aligned, the feedback provided to developers is clear and consistent. The next problem area is inefficient resource allocation. Your tools, in this case, are developers. To speed up software development, you need to use them correctly. The easiest way is to assign experienced developers to the difficult steps and leave the easy ones to the beginners. This approach will lead you to the next tip. Create small, tightly focused teams. This small teams approach helps you maintain focus and good communication between teams. Reducing misunderstandings will enable faster resolution of issues. Now, of course, developers also need their tools and it would be better if they had access to good computers, servers, software, and so on. And this can be expensive, but not as expensive as overdue deadlines or missed opportunities. Now let's discuss technical debt. Technical debt is the deliberate decision to make lower quality solutions to release software faster. It's not bad if you do it strategically and have a plan for how to compensate for it later. Otherwise, technical debt leads to system complexity and slower development speed later. As we've already mentioned, it should be avoided. This picture shows technical debt and its interest growth over time if it's not resolved. Growth can be fast or slow, depending on the debt accumulation velocity. Overall, there's always some technical debt in the system and it's economically impractical to have zero debt. It'll slow delivery of new features. Now, there's also tools that simplify developers' work. Watch our video on GitHub Copilot to learn more about it. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.